So in this uh, exam video, let's solve a problem for linear convolution using overlap add method. Okay. The question is, uh, perform the linear convolution of the finite length sequence x of n equal to 1 comma 2 comma minus 1 comma 3 comma 2 comma minus 3 minus 2 minus 1. Okay. And h of n equal to 3 comma 2 using overlap add method. Okay. So if you see the sequence, you have uh, two different lengths. Okay. So one is x of n which is uh, which is of larger length and h of n which is of smaller length. Okay. The first step in this overlap add method is we need to subdivide this larger sequence into sections or uh, uh, into sequence which is of a smaller length. The length should be same as that of your uh, this h of n. Okay. So this uh, may be the length of the larger larger n sequence. Okay. It's let's say length of uh, x of n is going is going to be like yeah three uh, four five six seven eight okay it's eight okay so let me say this is i mean n1 given notation n1 is going to be eight and let me denote the uh, length of h of n by n2 n2 is going to be two right so what we need to do is the first step is we need to subdivide this larger length sequence into smaller length in such a way the length of the larger length sequence should be same as that of the uh, uh, sub, uh, the the length of the subdivided sequence should have the length same as that of the same as that of the small length sequence so uh, we need to segment this uh, larger sequence into smaller segments of length two okay so we can write by subdividing this Larger things x of n can be subdivided as x1 of n, which is equal to 1 comma 2, okay, and x2 of n is going to have the value minus 1 comma 3, and x3 of n is going to have the value the next two values, okay, 2 comma the first two, 2, okay, 2, I mean 2 comma minus 3, and x4 of n is going to have the value minus 2 comma minus Okay, so first step is we have subdivided the larger length sequence in a smaller, seg I mean smaller length uh, sequence, and the subdivided sequence is going to, is having the length same as that of a small length sequence. This is the first step. Then we need to perform linear convolution for all these uh, smaller length, uh, I mean subdivided sequence. So, like, so, we go, so we need to find y1 of n is going to be x1 of n convolution with h of n and y2 of n which is going to be x2 of n in convolution with h of n and y3 of n is going to be x3 of n in convolution with h of n and y4 of n which is going to be x4 of n convolution with h of n. This is our uh, okay yeah uh, second step. So we need to find what is y1 of n, y2 of n, y3 of n, y4 of n. Okay. So let's go one by one to find okay. y1 of n. This is nothing but linear convolution okay, of x1 of n and h of n. So to perform this linear convolution, we can use uh, any methods. Okay. There are uh, several methods. So here we are using tabular method, okay, which is very easy. So, tabular method, what we do is here we write x of n, here we write x1 of n. Okay, so our h of n value is 3, so h of n is here, x1 of n, and x of x1 of n value is 1, comma 2. Okay, so we are going to multiply this value with h of n, it's going to be 3, 2, multiply, multiply this element 2 with h of n, okay, 2 is 6, and 2 is 4. Okay, so if you're going to partition it and segment it, what you get is y1 of n is going to be 3, comma 6 plus 2 is going to be 8, comma 4. Okay, 3, 4. Okay, 3, 8, 4. Okay, so you found y2 of n. Similarly, we have to find y2 of so what is going to be y2 of n? So to find y2 of n, we know it's going to be x2 of n convolution with linear convolution such of n. So we'll use the same method. 
and here is going to be hfn here is going to be x to r okay hfn is always going to be the same as in the question 3 comma 2 and x to of n is subdivided this equal to minus 1 comma 3 so minus 1 3 okay so minus 1 into hfn is like minus 3 it's minus 2 3 3 is a 9 and 3 2 are 6 okay so if you're going to partition it segment it and so y2 of n is going to be minus 3 comma uh, 9 minus 2 is going to be 7 comma 6 okay we're going to add this diagonal elements right we have done we have got y2 of n we come to y2 of n then we'll write uh, y3 of n right so to find y3 of n so to find y3 of n the same method we can follow here it's going to be h of n and here it's going to be x3 of n. So h of n is going to be 3 comma 2 as in the question. As in the question and x3 of n we're going to be 2 comma minus 3. So 2 and minus 3. So 3 2 are again multiply this 2 with h of n. 3 2 are 6 and 2 2 are 4. Again uh, 3, 3, minus 3 into 3 is minus 9 and minus 6. So to find the convolution output, so y3 of n, we're going to partition and add the diagonal elements, it's going to be 6 comma minus 9 plus 4 is going to be minus 5 comma minus 6. Okay, we have found y3 of n and now we are going to find y4 of n, right? y4 of n. So to find y4 of n. So y4 of n again, here is going to be h of n, here is going to be x4 of n. h of n is going to have the value 3, 2, that's in the question, and x4 is going to have a value minus 2, minus 1. So it will be minus 2, minus 1. So minus, we are going to multiply this minus 2 with h of n, it's like minus 6 and minus 4. Uh, and here is going to be minus 3, minus uh, 2. So we just partition it diagonally and we'll get the value y4 of n is going to be minus 6 comma minus 3 plus minus 4 is going to be minus 7 comma minus 2. So we have finished the second step. We have subdivided the larger sequence in smaller uh, sections and we have found the convolution, linear convolution for each smaller segment. Okay. Now the second step is, the third step is we are going to add the linear uh, the output of this uh, smaller segments, okay, the, the output of linear convolution. So from the sequence, what you can understand is like, you know, the length of sequence is, uh, uh, I mean, input sequence, like one is eight and one is uh, two. So, so the output is going to have the length, okay, uh, eight plus two minus one, uh, n one plus n two minus one. So it's, it's of length nine, okay. So let's continue the next sheet. Next sheet. Okay, next sheet. So, third step. So, length of the sequence is uh, going to be of uh, nine, right? So, like we will um, put the value of n. Okay, it starts from zero, one, two, three, four, five. 6, 7, 8, and 9. Okay, so total it is output will have sequence length of 10, which is 0 to 9. So we will write we have 4 outputs here y1, y2, and y3, y4. Okay, let's write it y1 of n, y2 of n, y3 of y3 of n, again y4 of n. Okay. So now what we need to do is, you should be the careful, the most important thing here is, like we have this question, so x1 of n starts from, right, starts from x of 0. So when you are going to write the output y1 of n, y1 of n similarly, the value is 3, 8 and 4 starts from, okay, x of 0, so like 3, 8, okay, 4. And y2 of n, okay, um, should starts from, okay, y2 of n here starts from, 
x of 2 right x of 2 okay x of 2 and here it starts from x of 0 so 2 plus 0 is uh, 2 and here similarly the x2 of n starts from the point x of 2 okay it's very very important okay why because okay let me partition it again okay this is x of 0 x of 1 x of x of 2 so similarly we should also start y2 of n from i mean the y2 of n starts from x of um, 2 because okay here it is 0 and here it is 2 again we should start from x of 2 so the value is minus 3 7 6 so we can write as minus 3 7 6 now y3 of n so that is y3 of n starts y3 of n okay here the here value here starts from x of uh, x of 4 right x of 0 x of 1 x of 2 x of 3 x of 4 and h of 1 starts from 0 so 0 plus okay 4 and you all should know y3 starts from x of 4 so what is y3 y3 value here is we have found the cut of 6 minus 5 and minus 6 so like we need to mention it is 6 minus 5 and minus 6 okay so where does y4 starts from okay y4 should start from x of 6 okay x of 6 x of 6 x of 6 and here x of 0 again we should start from x of 6 so what is x of 6 x of or is y of 4 y of 4 is minus 6 minus 7 minus 2 so here is okay, here x of 6 we'll write minus 6 minus 7 and minus 2 so what you could see here is there is one overlap there that we will have always n2 minus 1 overlap okay the smaller n sequence is 2 so what we could see it is uh, when you when you just add uh, no, the convolution of the subsequence you can see an overlap okay now we need to wherever there is the overlap we need to add it okay so y of n is going to be uh, like you know 3 again 8 4 minus 3 is going to be uh, 1 right again uh, 7 6 plus 6 is going to be 12 minus 5 minus 12 minus 7 and minus 2 okay so your final answer y of n is going to be 3 comma 8 comma 1 comma 7 comma 12 comma minus 5 comma minus 12 comma minus 7 comma minus so minus 2 so this is your output uh, this is your y of n which is a linear convolution uh, of x of n and h of n by using overlap by using overlap add method okay so to summarize the steps what you have seen is the first step is uh, two important thing you notice first we need to subdivide the uh, larger sequence into smaller than sequence second step is we need to find the linear convolution of this smaller than sequence which is the second step which which you have done here okay uh, and the third step is we need to we need to add uh, the output of the linear convolution of this subsequence and wherever there is overlap okay we also need to add it and this output will be the linear uh, convolution output okay by using overlap add method thank you